Welcome to Bradford Tactical Holsters. Today we're going to address a question that we get a lot. What is a mod wing slash call and do I need one? This is one of the things where I've noticed other companies use it as a sales tactic. You know, they make a couple dollars off of it, whatever. We don't do that at Bradford Tactical. Um, we're not going to sell you something that you don't need. And I want to take this time to use this video to address, do you need it? So first off, let's look at it. This is going to be our, our new mod wing. Um, these are, oh, excuse me. These are ambidextrous, meaning you can take this screw out, take this nut out, and you can flip this portion to the other side to make it a left-hand mod wing. There is a standard model and a light bearing model. They come with the tall insert and there's a medium insert. Um, I don't have one of those on hand to be able to show you right here. So now, what does the mod wing do? So the mod wing, as seen here, is mounted, in this case, underneath the clip. Now in a light bearing situation, such as this, it will actually be mounted off to the side. They are mounted in line with your clip. So to give you a physical representation of what this does, your belt goes under the clip. The belt is actually gonna go on top of the mod wing. So this, this part is gonna go inside of your pants. When that belt comes across here, goes around your body, the tension is gonna drive that grip sideways into your person. It's going to eliminate this grip printing completely. 100% um, in an appendix carry situation. And we will be posting some pictures and further videos to go more in depth and detail of how this works, pictures with and without it. Um, but this is just a quick reference point. Um, if you're not carrying appendix, the call is not going to help you. Um, in fact, if you're carrying it, say three o'clock, even four o'clock, the claw is actually going to cause some tension on your belt. It's going to cause your pants to be pulled away from your person and actually cause printing even more. I do not recommend them outside of appendix carry. Um, I, I know people who carry them. I'm not saying it can't be done. When you start getting around more around, say, 530 in the back, 5, 530, um, they do have somewhat of a benefit, but at that point, they're... They can be real cumbersome and hard to put on because you can't quite see back there. And, and I, I really recommend that if you're not carrying appendix that, that you go without it. Um, now, that said, I'll, I'll build your gear any, any way you'd like. But um, now these are mold injection. You're not going to have to worry about them breaking or any of that. Um, for you guys out there that maybe want to try appendix and, and you want to start out... Um, you know, with the best advantage trying appendix, you can order, this is our Summit Series with the Mod Wing, you can order it. And if you decide that you don't like it, all that's gotta be done is two spacers be put in place of the claw. So you can, you can actually take the overhook off, take the claw off, put your two spacers in and put your clip back on without it. You know, because this clip does allow for cant, so you can carry it any position. Um, I'm hoping that I've addressed all of the questions pertaining to the mod wing and the claw and whether or not you need it or you don't need it. If I have not, feel free to comment below. Let me know. I will make future videos. We are planning a full video about nothing but appendix, appendix carry, all of our appendix line, um, the mod wings, what they do, what they don't do. It'll also be covering the wedge that you can see here um, and, and how it affects your appendix carry. But but for this video specifically, I just want to address those who don't know what it is and whether or not you need it. I hope you guys have a good day and thanks for taking the time to watch it.